hey guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i am going to be showing you how you can enhance um, the look and the user experience of your store by enhancing the product filter and the product searching functionality on your website and we'll be using the product filter and search so i'll show you how you can filter your products um, and search on your Shopify store so it can be easier for your customer when they visit your store and start searching for um, for your product. So by using this product filter and search, it will help you tremendously to um, increase your conversion rate that can help your customers to go straight and buy your product from your store just because um, the filters and the search experience is really really amazing so to do uh, so to do this we are going to use an app called um, product filter and search uh, and I am going to show you how you can do everything in your store and you can see this is a really good app um, it has five star and it is $19 per month and you can get 14 days free trial um, so you have a good amount of free days that you can use to test it in your store and see how the conversion rate is going to be in your store. So before I jump and start showing you how you can um, do this, let's view the store demo first. And this is how the app will be looking like exactly in your store. And as you can see here on the top left corner, uh, you can see all these different such as options. These are different collection like there are tops, dresses, intimates, ex intimates, etc. So uh, you can choose different collection that you want to look. And you can see um, there are uh, multiple level within each collection. And if you can open the tops here, uh, this is how it is going to be looking like. So we can see there are different level inside the top. So these are the small collection inside of the overall top collection and you can go ahead and filter uh, filter them. So you can also filter by different brands. Um, you can see here there are different brands like Burberry, Chanel, Dior, Fendi, Gucci and etc. Louis Vuitton. So you can filter them um, and see uh, different products from these uh, brands you can also filter by different styles and by different color um, you can pick um, which uh, color you want either you want that color or black and the website will show uh, the availability color uh, depending with the filter that you're using you can also filter by using different sizes um, price different shapes um, reviews and rating or you can also do all of this and if you notice that if you actually ever shop like on the big big uh, retail shop you're going to notice that many still um, have a system like this with different filters um, where you can go ahead and search throughout different products and collection and sort them out by all of these different filters so this is pretty much something that every store uh, needs to have a special if you have a very large um, catalog uh, because this is going to make um, the search and the filtering process for the customer uh, more much easier and the easiest it is the better will be for the customer to purchase things from your store so there are a few different um, customization option you can actually do and on top right over here you can see there are uh, uh, filter layout um, so if we do vertical layout this is uh, this is how the vertical layout will be looking like and the horizontal layout this is how it's going to be looking like and you can see um, over here if we switch when we switch uh, to horizontal the layout we can see now all the different categories um, they're all right over here at the top where if we use a vertical they are all on the um, left hand side uh, same goes if we want to pick other photo layout you can do that there is um, off canvas um, collapse uh, three color filter and you can show all the photo options they are all available right over there 
so if we click the horizontal section here and you can see um, if we click uh, these tabs over here you have different um, selection different filters that you can use to search your product like the different collection brands styles color um, sizes etc so you can see if we click search here you can see there are different items shown already even way before start searching for the items um, and if we click uh, let me view my store this is the regular Shopify store on the regular search bar if you click there you won't get to see different product recommendation and if we go back here let's say if we type like T um, you'll see uh, like anything that start with T will be um, shown over there but if we go back to the regular Shopify store um, let me type like C um, you'll see this you see different products that start with C will be shown there but if you don't type anything nothing will be shown uh, so that so that's how the regular um, a Shopify store will be looking like but with filter is totally different um, even when you don't type anything uh, they'll show different recommendation over there now we can further filter our option even more like if we use um, the standard uh, two column if we click here you'll see this is the standard two column um, if we click the standard overlay full width and this is how it is going to be looking like on the searching section and if we use the standard one column um, when we click on the search here this is how it is going to be looking like and same other instant search layout you can pick what you want so basically all these filter option there uh, basically depending on how you like your store to be looking like so you can pick the option that you think will be perfect for your store and of course this will be depending on the nature of the business so you can pick all of this so now I am going to walk you through how you can set this up quickly on your own store so let me go on my this is my Shopify um, admin page and my current theme is Crave theme so what I will recommend you before um, adding the app in your store make sure you duplicate you duplicate this theme um, so just in case if you don't want to use the filter option you can still have your your regular Shopify theme so I'm going to duplicate this theme so now it is duplicated and this will be easy if I'm I'm going to change my mind about using uh, this app now a copy of my theme has been added so now let's go back to our Shopify app store and let's add this app on our store and then let's install the app so now here uh, we have like this message that we are uh, like welcome to your product folder and search and so we can let them know more about us for better supporting um, so please choose I am a Shopify owner what industry I am going to pick my industry uh, food and drinks and then I'm going to click next and now this is the section where you can pick your layout you can either pick a vertical layout and this is how it's gonna be looking like and the horizontal layout this is how it's gonna be looking like so I'm going to click um, a vertical layout so you can pick what you want so I'm going to click that and now um, the app is initializing so we're gonna have to wait a little bit uh, when the app is fetching and analyzing all the data we have um, about the product in our store so it's gonna take a little bit of time so you need to sit back and relax and wait um, for the product filter and search to um, put the data together um, so now after that step is done you can click preview and this will be the the next step that will ask you how does the app works on your store and if it looks it works great and then click next and and then uh, you can click here take me back to my home page so now this is how um, your homepage will be looking like in terms of the product and filter and search 
um, so pretty much after you have installed everything um, so pretty much after you have um, added the app in your store you will initialize everything and add everything together and your store will be looking very much um, different and if we preview this is my store and you can see here I have um, different um, filtering this is a store which doesn't have like so much stuff so I have few different filters but if you have a store with so many products in different collection you'll have more filter section just like how we had on this uh, demo store right over here so pretty much after you have installed the app in your store it will just sync all your product in there and you really won't have to uh, do any other customization but if you do want to add an, I mean different customization you can come over here on the product folder and search and you can click filter and this is where you can manage all your filter you can um, you can manage your filter layout you can pick um, the layout that you want either the vertical horizontal um, you can also do the mobile uh, the mobile layout and stuff like that you can filter the settings or uh, on the terms that you want your setting to be looking like you can merge different values uh, you can do so many things so pretty much the process is very easy and very simple and quick it didn't take so much time the only thing you have to do is just install the app in your store and the app will do pretty much everything to you and you can just um, add other different um, filters if you want to so yeah guys this is how you can um, install the product filter and such on your uh, Shopify store so to make it easier for your customer to search product in your store and if we click here on the online store so we can see this is our craft theme um, and this is the one over here which which has um, the boost live theme with filter and search so this was our regular craft theme and this is the theme with the with the app so what we're gonna do we're gonna click um, action and then we are going to publish it and we are going to publish uh, the one with the with the theme with the with the app and just in case if you don't want to use the app anymore you can come back over here on the copy of crave and click action and you can publish this one without um, without the app so pretty much that's how you can do it I hope you guys liked today's tutorial if you have any question just leave me down below on the comment section and I'll see you guys on the next video